All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, we're working on burning green here. Went ahead and moved some stuff around the shop and got the truck up on the hoist here. We're going to pull the motor out and get it taken over to my brother's shop, pull the pan off, and at least see what kind of damage, if any, we're working with on this blown LS. Let's get to it. All right, so we got Nate out here in the shop. Nate, what should they do for the channel? Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't already or you didn't watch the previous video, head on over to the link in the description below to SAP Engines, our brand new YouTube channel where we will do more in-depth stuff on motors like this one. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead, lift the truck up. We'll start by undoing the exhaust, getting the headers off, torque converter. We can take out the bell housing bolts because, again, copying Kevin with KSR, we've got these tabs on the front and rear that we can take all the bell housing bolts out, get as much stuff as we can. Then we'll work our way up front here, get the radiator, blower belt, racing and development guard off, get the blower pulled off, unhook wiring and all that kind of stuff, and then roll it on back, move the Dodge out, pick this bad boy up. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna take a break here before we unhook the battery. And we're gonna power up the Holly, which I've already done. And I wanna check out some of the warnings and stuff. But while I'm doing that, guys, don't forget, head on over to SAP Engines. Link is in the description below for the new channel that we started. There's nothing on the channel yet. So thank you to the guys that did subscribe and get prepared. Ring that bell, turn on notifications, because we'll be doing stuff like the full teardown of this motor. You know, we'll see what's wrong with it in our video here, but then we'll go over there and we'll check out the rest of it. But what I wanted to do was, you know, this thing was flashing yellow at times and then it would go red. And I know I looked down and seen red a couple times. So where was the yellow threshold to the red? And that's what we're looking at. And uh, looking right here, it's not looking very good. So uh, low warning at 8 and low alarms at 1, meaning... Uh, yeah, it was yellow quite a bit. So it had 8 PSI of oil pressure and or less and then it had one a few times there so unfortunately that's not looking very good not very good at all so one more reason to get this motor out neat so we can uh get it over there and tear it apart so let's unhook the battery and let's keep going on the stuff underneath the truck and work our way on up All right, while Jason was taking his nap, I woke him up so he could come over here and help me <laughs> finish. That's no joke. He was taking a nap. What? He wasn't working hard, so I don't know what he needed a nap for, but uh, got the motor pulled out as... Huh? I worked hard last night. Yeah. <laughs> I bet two minutes at most. Had him help pull the motor out, uh, threw it in his truck, so we're going to head over there now, 
I need to grab the intake for the Mopar, which is under the bench. So that way we can look at what we're gonna do as far as nozzles into the injector holes, and I can explain all that stuff later. But yeah, we're loaded up. We'll head on over there and pull the pan off and hopefully there's not much damage. We got enough stuff to buy for the Mopar yet, so we better hope, fingers crossed, it's good. All right, so as you can see, we went ahead and got the motor tore down. You, want, you can check out more of this on the SAP Engines YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description below. That video for the first one will be coming out here probably Wednesday. I'm going to try and do the boosted ride uploads on Sundays. And we'll try and do SAP uploads maybe on Wednesdays or something to kind of give you guys content between there. But if you want to come over here, it's we're just turning it down to clean it all up. There really was nothing wrong with it. I mean, if you look at the bearings here, there's it ran a little bit of trash through there. But nothing like what we were possibly thinking might happen because of that clear view with a little bit of bearing material in there but i think jason's right i think when i clean that i'll, I'll take the blame for it i didn't actually take the whole clear view totally apart it's down on the bottom down there but i didn't take it totally apart so i'll take the blame for that but again check out more of this on the sap engines channel and now we're going to head back over to my shop and we need to draw a winner from the last video so and what more fitting than uh, part from burning green here so when we go over there, I'll show you what part we got that we're going to give away from the next, uh, for this one. So don't forget, comment down below on this video to win something in the next video. And it'll probably be a part from the death trap because I think hopefully in the next video, I'll be pulling that motor out, tearing it down, seeing what's wrong with that. But let's head over to the shop, load up the uh, chat from the last one and pick a winner. So back at the shop here, and this is what we're going to be giving away. This is the blower belt off of Burning Green. I said this would be fitting since we're working on that motor. And look at Jason even signed it. Boy, this one's special, guys. <laughs> but anyways, this is off of Burning Green when we went to Volga and we were doing some of those test runs. Well, one test run and it spit the belt. Uh, backed out the bolt on the blower is what actually happened. Stripped all the teeth right off of this, except one section. But anyways, that was from that run. So this is what you're going to be getting. We'll go in the office here in just a minute and pick that winner. But if you want to come on over here, Morgan, we'll show them. This is what we kind of got going on on the SAP Engines channel. This is the intake from the Mopar. And you can see there's Dicom all over the top of this, which is the bottom, I guess. But explain that on that channel. We've got the front cover here, which has had a lot of modifications to it. And then we've got this over here, which is our brand new oil pan. And that don't look good. It's in two pieces. So if you want to check out what's going on here with this stuff, go over to SAP Engines. But let's head on to the office and we'll uh, pick the winner. All right, so here's the link for the last video. Anything goes, no replies or duplicates, as always. And loading comments, 64. The winner is A. Tatton. Tatton? I don't know. But you know what? You won yourself a blower belt. If you don't want it, let me know. I can always pass it to the next one. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Send me a message. Facebook at Boosted Ride or Instagram at Boosted.Ride. Thanks again, guys.